Well, you wouldn't think it now, but the weather before is rubbish. So I'm on the ground today, and instead of sitting around moping and drinking tea, I thought instead I'd share with you what is the one application that I use on my iPad now for planning a flight, and what are some of my key tips when it comes to flying with an electronic flight bag. Hello friends, welcome to St Kilda here on the coast of Port Phillip Bay in Melbourne. Now I remember when planning a flight used to mean finding a table, clearing off all the important stuff, making sure you had the latest paper maps, sharpening your pencils, using things you hadn't seen since primary school. These spinny wheel machine things, drawing lines, drawing more lines, measuring those lines, drawing lines, more lines, rip maps. You had to deal with so much, but not nowadays. Now, I solely use an electronic flight bag for flight planning and I want to share with you some of my tips for the application that I use but also how I get the most out of it when I'm planning a flight. But I think we need to find a mode of transport first. That's pretty cool, right? If ever you do skydiving down here in Melbourne, uh, you take off from Moorabbin Airport normally, they'll fly you up above the bay, and this is where you end up. This is the drop zone for the parachutes just down here, just uh, the other side of the bay. Fantastic. It's cool watching them come down. Now, I used to use a flight planning application or an EFB, an electronic flight bag, that was called Oz Runways. Uh, I think they were either the first or one of the first CASA certified EFBs here in Australia. But I've recently changed, it's a bit bright, that's better. I've recently changed to an EFB application called Avplan EFB. Now before I fully go into this video, I just want to say one thing, because I know sometimes, I know some of you wonder about this and that's fair enough. This is not a sponsored video. I'm not being paid by Avplan EFB to say this. I've never worked with Avplan EFB. I will say though, um, Avplan EFB did reach out to me and they did give me a free trial of the software but you can get that too, you just jump onto their website you can download the application onto your iPad or iPhone and you can then sign up and get a free trial subscription so anyone can do it, anyone can have a go before paying the full amount but not sponsored Alright, now I've got that out of the way the other thing I want to say as well is this is not a comparison video so I'm not going to do a side by side I know there are a ton of good electronic flight bag apps out there like For Flight, I know a lot of you guys in the US use four flights. Sky Demon is used a lot in the UK. Oz Runways here in Australia. Um, th there's others that I've, I haven't mentioned but I'm not going to do a feature for feature comparison because that's just going to take way too long. All I want to do today in this video is tell you why I've chosen to use our Planet EFB as my electronic flight bag. I have an iPad mini which I carry with me and that's what I have loaded our Planet EFB onto but also I also have an iPhone, it doesn't matter which one you have, I've just got an 8 Plus I think, and I also have a backup copy of Avplan EFB loaded onto here as well. Now a lot of electronic flight bags let you do this, they let you load it on more than one device, and if you can do that, if it's within your subscription, you need to do that. In fact, I think legally in some countries you have to do that because you need to have a backup if you're going to be using an electronic flight bag. So if this device goes kaput or the batteries run out or it overheats or for some reason, I also realise I just said kaput. If this device fails for you for whatever reason in the cockpit, you need a backup if you don't have a paper-based backup. So I make sure that everything I have on the iPad mini is also synced on the iPhone as well. So I have an exact copy in case that, well, yeah, in case it goes kaput. Now, if you're anything like me, you'll probably spend your evening sitting on the couch whilst the telly's showing something in the background. That's kind of your second screen nowadays. Your primary screen is this one, and most of the time you're doing something on your iPad or iPhone. And what I do in the evenings is I actually sit there with my flight planning tool, and I kind of set up mock flights. I think to myself, okay, well, what if I wanted to fly from here to Tasmania tomorrow? How would I go about it? So whenever I'm planning any flight, doesn't matter how long it is, how short it is, where I'm going to, I always do the same thing. I always start 
big. I basically put in my origin, I put in my destination, and then I just draw a big straight line between the two. And at that point, that's when I start to look at things like IFR versus VFR. So I look at the IFR en route maps, and I look at the VFR maps, and I decide, well, which is gonna be the best way for me to go on this particular trip. With most electronic flight bags as well, you can tap on the track that you're going along, you can add new waypoints if you want to, because there might be things that you wanna stop at and look at along the way. I then check details about the actual destination itself. So the terminal information page in Avplan is actually really good, because not only do you get the weather information up front, but you can flick through all of the charts associated with that terminal as well. So you get the basic aerodrome information, and you can see all the instrument approaches that are available to that terminal as well. And once you've got your flight plan, and once you're happy with everything, that's obviously a really quick example, but once you put everything in, you can put in your altitudes, determine what height you're flying, and when you've got your plan basically ready on your iPad or your iPhone, it's normally just a case of clicking a couple of extra buttons to submit that, in our case, to a system called NAPES, which submits it to air services, and that puts the flight plan in the system, and you're basically ready to go at that point. Now, of course, I said I used to use Oz Runways before Avplan EFB, uh, and for the whole of my Outback trip around Australia, I actually used Avplan solely as the only electronic flight bag. Um, and I'll tell you why after I put this cycling helmet on. Hey, just a side note, in Melbourne here, even though we have city bikes like you have in so many cities around the world, in Melbourne, you have to wear helmets. So I brought my own because the other ones you get, they're normally wet and someone else's head has been in them. I think you love First up, it's fast. I've noticed that switching between the screens, pulling information off the internet, um, just like pulling up weather information or making changes to your flight plan whilst you're using the application, they happen quickly. And that's what you want when you're in the cockpit and you're trying to make decisions sometimes on the fly. Secondly, talking about weather, the weather information, I've found the displays of the weather information in Avplan are better than any of the other EFBs that I've used in the past. Also, first time vlogging on a bike, not sure I'm going to do this again. Why doesn't this thing have autopilot? And finally, customer service and information. Now, Avplan are actually a really good company when it comes to sharing information about things like updates, upgrades, power tips for users. Their blog on their website is very good as well. And I just found that as a new user of the application, it's really important to have access to that kind of information, which some of the others that I'd used before weren't really as good at kind of getting that information out to you. impromptu tips on Avplan EFB and how I like to use it and why I like using an electronic flight blag. Blag? Sure. Let me know in the comments below which flight blag you like to use and if you've got any tips on Avplan EFB I'd love to hear them as well. If you liked this then like this. If you're not already a subscriber click on that subscribe button. Otherwise don't forget just keep moving and I'll see you in the next video. I think I like it too.